Hey guys, Mikubis14 here, and before we start the episode, I just want to tell you guys about my first year in streaming stream this Saturday, July 17 at 9pm GMT plus 8. I hope you guys can watch that live and be with me on the stream. And welcome back to another episode of this Stacia Expert Mode. This is episode number 18, and I know it is a Tuesday, or like, you know, when I upload Survival Series or see, or uh, the other one, uh, Lo uh, Land of Monday. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the, the, the name of the series. But I was not able to record, or like, I, I was not able to not, not record, finish what I was doing on time. Because I had a lot of things backed up on school, in school. So yeah, this is the easiest um, series that I can record. And I actually have prepared this like weeks ago. I am still working on things on uh, on my survival series and also my uh, on the Land of Monday server. I actually haven't played on that server, so yeah. So if you wanna check that out, that check that series out, you can go to my channel, go check out the older videos, and subscribe if you haven't because I will you know release new episodes whenever I have finished doing all the things and. If I have enough time to actually play on the Land of Monday server. And also, don't forget to like this video. Yep, so, <laughs> quick plug. So, uh, the last time that uh, I left off the Land of, uh, sorry, not Land, oh my gosh. The Stacia of Expert world here. Stacia Expert. We have this chest. And I actually did some progress. As you can see, right here, it's almost complete. Let's put the iron here. Oopsies. Yeah. And also stone. Boop, 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 boop. And also I did some more stuff over there, especially in the blood magic area. But let's talk about this first. So let's craft what we were doing was the charging station. So let's craft the charging station. We have this, 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 and... Oh yeah, there you go. We got the charging station. Bam! Let's grab the... Let's actually grab to see if it has something. Oh, it doesn't have rewards. Well, rip. So this is basically like a charging station, you know. Yeah. So next up is this guy, which is the charging station from Charging Gadgets. So let's put this guy, those two. Okay, those counts, which is good. Side dust, and then this guy. We got the charging station now. Hey, we got it. Okay. So that's the next step for that. <laughs> and then we have this guy, which is the energizing orb which is on bam we got the energizing orb already i think there's no power yeah there's no power oh wait oh no this oh no this is the uh flux plug flux points what is this oh tesseract oh there's a tesseract mod here damn all right okay so with the pot with the energizing orb we actually need this to get the ender core which needs the energizing rods and also the, the electric casings we're small we're really close to the to the mechanism i swear but what is holding us back is well we oh no the ebony side metal i don't know if how i can do this hopefully hopefully i don't have to go to the end but i'm gonna test that out in the uh, on my test world Okay, so we just need this is easy. This is easy. We all have, we have a lot of this actually, but we need a demonic slate. Now the demonic slate needs a tier four blood altar, and the tier four actually needs a large bloodstone brick. And to craft this, we need a weak blood shard. And to craft this, there are two ways. But this is the expensive route, and this is the I I don't know if this is the uh what do you call this the vanilla blood magic way, but we need an arc. Uh, our alchemical reaction chamber which is pretty easy we can craft this very easily but we also need a sanguine reverter which needs to be crafted on a hellfire forge with stone iron imbued slate shears and a tartaric gem and well we need the hellfire forge and with iron plates that's easy gold easy i already crafted a pd machine form but we need this the sky stone now, I did some exploring off cam. Let's actually place the power right, I guess, here. Because this is where the energy line comes in. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to put the power for now. But we're going to build a building for that. Or for the, you know, for the energy stuff. Because this is just the starter thing, right? Okay. So I did some exploring. If you look at the map, 
Let's go outside first. And I do remember... Why am I in this level though? Okay, there you go, ha! Huh? I went downwards in this, uh, in this dark forest area and I found... I remember seeing going to this area and it just went back because there's nothing interesting. And then when I looked here, this looks like a meteor site. It looks like a meteor site. So I'm gonna go there to get the sky uh hopefully it's like a big asteroid or you know meteor but oh but we're gonna show you guys what i did for the blood altar first before i go ahead and uh go to the meteor site i actually added two new runes and also added stairs right here so these are the speed room basically accelerates the process of infusing blood huh this is kind of sus, I don't know why. And also I have this rune of capacity, and if you can see at the top screen, it's now 1800 millibuckets because before it was 10,000 millibuckets. It, this is kind of expensive actually. If you look at the rune of capacity, we need a lot of iron, so it's basically 369 iron. And an imbued slate, so that's a lot of blood, a lot of pricking, you know? So, yeah. Uh, we need this, right? So we need the Tartaric Gem. Where's... I think there's like a common Tartaric Gem? Yeah, so we need a, uh, a lesser Tartaric... No, here it is. A petty Tartaric Gem. So we need these normal stuff. And we need the Demonic Will. I think... Yeah, we still have a lot of Will. So that's good. So... I think, yeah, that's, that's where we're gonna do today. We're gonna build more Blood Magic stuff. And hopefully we can upgrade to the Tier 4... And next, uh, and hopefully by the next episode, we are actually working on, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> a mechanism for automation. So yeah, I will go to the Skystone stuff and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. No, it's this way. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, here it is. Uh huh. So, oh, it's a small one. Let us remove the waypoint off. All right. Let's grab this. Oh. All right. So... These meteors are actually spawned by applied energistics. Oh, there's some copper here and some small cave and f floating water, I guess. So these are actually spawned by applied energistics. And in vanilla, I think I've shown this before, in vanilla me uh, applied energistics, you need to use the meteorite compass. But I can't actually use this for now because I need the charge surface quartz and you need a tier 4 to get a charged service quartz so yeah let's drive drive no dive right in here let's grab this so we're just gonna oh that Oop, we got a lot and here it is we got inscriber calculation press so this this guy right here is actually used for crafting things in the oh my gosh oh gosh in the uh, applied logistics mod, so like a calculation processor that this is used for like crafting units and stuff. So we need, I believe, yeah, we need three stuff. So three presses from the mod, and those and those presses are different. So you can't just you know expect one to to work for the other. Wait, let's put it here. Let's grab the chest because it's a chest. We might be able to use it. Nice. We have a lot of Skystone too, so that's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, Skystone. Oh, that's pretty oh, good. Alright, I think we're done here. We have some stuff there, but we're not gonna grab those. Alright. Now that we have Skystone, let's... I'm also... Wait, is it... The... Is the sun moving? Wait, why is the sun not moving? I just updated the pack. There's no game... Oh wait, I can't... Oh man, I can't... Okay. I'm just gonna check things, right? Alright. Okay. Slash game rule. Do daylight cycle, right? Why is it false? I just updated the pack. Ugh. Alright. We're gonna restart the world. Oh, sorry. Not restart. We're gonna... I'm gonna go out and go in so that there's no uh, cheating. Ways. This is weird. I'm getting weird... Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's mud. Oh yeah, okay. This is getting weird. The sun is not moving and stuff. I just updated the pack like I think the other day. 
to 1 point something, 1.11.6 uh, I think. I can't remember the version number. And this happened like the last time I recorded too. It's like, why is the sun not moving? Like, I'm, okay. So we're gonna go back to the base. We can actually do that using our warp scroll right here. Just whoop. And then go to hope. And it uses one. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back and set up the things that we need to do. And craft, hopefully craft all the things that we need. Alright. Now, it is time to work on the tier 4 altar, I actually added more capacity runes because we need another, I mean, we need an upgraded blood orb for one of the items. Now, I actually, yeah, I do have everything here. Well, let, well that's crafting. Let's craft the Hellfire Forge. Humbram, we got it. Let's look at this guy. Yeah. We need, oh, a chemical reaction. What is this? What is that? What? Oh, we now have this guy. Let's go. It just it will just absorb the extra stuff in there. Alright, so we got the magician blood orb. Come on. Yep, okay. Let's put it yeah, let's bring it first. Right, so we now have this. So we need this guy. Eight capa rune capacity, so we need so we need twenty-eight runes. Just twenty-eight runes, basic twenty-eight runes, and blood stone bricks. So we're gonna need a lot of stuff. Oh. Okay. So we got the Hellfire Forge. Let's actually craft the alchemical. Yeah, oh, we oh. need stone and furnace. Ah, I forgot it's inside. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's grab those things. Nom 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 nom. All right. So we're gonna set up the Hellfire Forge. And where's the three stone? Yeah, three stone. I do have. Yeah, there you go. Okay, alchemical thing. There you go. We got that guy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, small lag spike. Okay, now it's night time, which is good because we're gonna need something. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's craft another one because since we're working on blood magic, we need the sword in the blood magic. Where is it? Here it is. The sentient sword. We just need. Oh, we just need an iron sword. Oh, that's easy. All right. That's good. That's good. We just craft a iron sword. Now this iron sword is especially useful whenever we need to get like a uh, will for these tartaric gems. So we're gonna craft actually two tartaric gems because one is gonna be filled with will and then the other will be used for crafting the next level. So it's kind of a lot of things. Where should I put it though? Let's put it like just in front of the altar, right? It it makes sense, right? Let's put it here for now. Because we're gonna put like stairs here. Oh, we need buckets of blood. I'm guessing. No? Okay. Alright. So we're gonna need a gem. If I'm if I remember correctly. So we need the this guy, the petty tartaric gem. Oh my gosh, we need redstone, gold. Redstone gold lapis glass. Let's see if I remembered that correctly. I wish I have like a wireless thing, like a wireless uh what do you call that? Wireless system storage thing. Glass and lapis. You then grab a lapis, there you go. Hopefully I don't need any more so that I don't have to go back there. <laughs> okay, so it's nighttime. We're gonna hunt some mobs actually. Uh when we get the petty tartaric gem. We're gonna craft one only one for now so this 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 and oh not the sword this guy and a uh, will let's use like the lowest will okay there you go it's crafting it's crafting it's crafting humbayum oh we don't need oh it only uses the will okay i forgot about that okay we get, got that okay and then we need the sentient sword right oh no yeah we're gonna Let's actually grab another <laughs> another gem. Oops, I forgot. Let's get another gem. Well, let's craft two more. Actually, I think we we can still we can still craft two more. Two gold, two glass, two redstone, and lapis. Oop. I, I could have. I mean, I could have placed like a waypoint here so that it's easier to, you know. To go back and forth, but it's gonna be noisy. That's gonna be my problem. 
Ooh, very fancy. So we're gonna craft boop 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 and boop. Still have Okay, one down. So we're gonna use this for now. I think you just Okay. Cause these guys would actually contain the wells. So we just throw these guys down and it, it will be filled up. Yep, we're gonna it's it's gonna fill up the this guy. Alright. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need I don't know how okay, we need 350 will. This can only contain I don't know how much. 64. Wait, do we need a common? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh boy. Okay. Let's actually hunt some mobs first. Let's hunt some mobs and then a oh, spider. I should actually enchant this, right? This got oh yeah. I got some stuff. Nope. Why are you boom? Boom. Nope. Boom. Boom. I should put like uh they call that uh sharpness on this sword. Yeah, uh, okay. My gem is filling up. As you can see at the bottom thing. So the last check the last time that I checked this it's oh then it's now 16 look at that okay let's go back for now okay so what i'm gonna do is since i'm still figuring this out so hopefully there's no creeper behind me so we need an imbued slate so this needs 30 350 minimum will for like i think 350 will inside of this guy so my idea or my my thinking is I think I need the common tartaric gem just to make sure that you know everything is working so yeah I think we're gonna do that so let me craft the common tartaric gem and then hopefully we can craft the the sanguine reverter which is also pretty easy uh this doesn't look like it looks like this doesn't need any blood yeah this needs lava yeah, the, yeah, it doesn't, the others doesn't need stuff. So yeah, let me upgrade this gem. No, the other gem. The other the other one that they crafted, actually. This guy, haha. So this will be crafted, upgraded, sorry. Into, what is it? Into, oh gosh. No, no, oh gosh, I forgot the other one. This guy, the lesser Tartaric, and then we're gonna upgrade it to Tartaric. Because this is, I think the maximum is 1000, and we need 220, so yeah. And I might upgrade, or I might enchant this sword, so that we can get like decent, uh, decent stuff in here. So yeah, let me just upgrade stuff, and I will be right back. I have a lot of arrows, oops. So I was exploring this cave right here, and I found this. Which is a spawner. Oh, slimy grass seeds. An enchanted golden apple. Alright. This looks very promising though, right? We have a pumpkin seed. That's good. Wait, put this guy's right there. Now yeah, the other one. Oh, mana steel. That's good. Schematic. Describes how to make light and well-balanced sword blades. Oh, tetra. And loyalty. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I have, there you go. Oh, we can farm Will here. Ooh. Now, uh, the thing here is that we need, we need like a waystone right here, right? Well, we can create a waypoint, right? A spawner. Spider spawner. Save. And I don't know where the home base, wait, let's look at the base, right? It is... Oh, that's just right there. Alright. So, I have a plan for this. Since we're gonna need a lot of wills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need, like... Oh, spider. Whoop. Just, we're just earning wills, honestly. Right? Yeah, we're just earning wills, so... I hear, like, a... Hmm. I hear some music. Okay. So... This is gonna be very useful. I will be right back again. This is just a small update. So yeah, I found a spawner, which is very interesting. Because I hear a lot of mobs, so yeah. 
so let's i'm gonna go back again craft everything and hopefully we can craft tier 4 blood altar and, and i'm not gonna break this of course oh boy now we got 256 we're gonna get the other one right yep we got the common tartaric gem now we now as you can see we have the will on the other stuff right so we can just like shift right click and you will transfer it to the bigger tartaric gem there you go and we can just use this again later on but we only need this because we need the maximum will right so we're gonna put this guy first and then we're, gonna, we're just gonna craft another stuff next time so i actually did something in the spider area i put a waypoint i think i've shown this before no i, ha I think i haven't and then i found another spider nearby a spider spawner and i put it here because i just realized you can actually transfer spawners oh god oh come on there you go over uh into along uh you know another place and i expanded this area just you know just a little bit f and hey there you go huh. so we just need 350 for for the will i actually modified i think the bottom one to have less decrease because okay let's put lights first if we go to spawn and if we press it we click it we have like some i'm explaining things uh some modifiers right here so we can put sugar clock i actually put sugar and clock i believe i also put a redstone comparator at the bottom i forgot if i put it already i think i have not huh. i think i haven't yeah oh yeah oh. let's remove this guy so that you can have better spawning and so i just realized that we can move spawners right that means if we find another spawner or we can use the other spawner the top one for the well of suffering so we can have unlimited blood and we can modify it to have like more spawns or you know faster faster spawning by decreasing the spawn delay that's gonna be fun oh come on so we just need the ah stop stop there another one right so we just need 350 right so we're close we're close we just need a little bit more <laughs> and it actually surprisingly it spawns really fast look at that. it spawns five Whoa. and as you can probably see i have an enchanted sword which is leech and breaking instigating and nature's mend uh the instigating one means that it's not really one hit but like if the enemy is full health you can have increased damage and i think that's what it does oh 350 let's go home no actually magic area i also put like a a waystone here so that we can actually use it okay so what do we need for this guy we need jasper oh sorry stone okay we need first the imbued i think i put i have an imbued slate right wait oh i did not oh no let's prick let's prick ourselves wait we wait we only have six thousand in here we gotta okay i think this is enough that's enough yep we just need shears and stone we're gonna get stone i don't know wait shears I think it's oh yeah it's normal minecraft recipe oh i forgot I, I thought i really thought they changed that because I, I i've played um expert mod packs before and they kind of changed some of the my vanilla recipes good thing this doesn't so you know that's fun it's been raining for like quite some time so hopefully the quality doesn't degrade because of this Ugh. all right uh is this imbued imbued slate nice let's put the imbued slate this guy stone and i forgot the other one is it ingot is it iron oh my gosh do i have iron <laughs> we do very nice and let's put this guy right here oh finally all right oh yeah we need to craft another one another imbued slate i just remembered because we only need one blood blood thing the blood shard the peak blood shard i think that's not enough we're gonna 
eat first. It's gonna prick our spells a lot of times. Boop. Boop. Okay, I think that's enough. Right. We can't die. Oh my god, we have one. One health. health. So you can only use this 32 times, right? So we need an imbued slate. We don't need anything else. It doesn't look like we need anything else. So we can just use the imbued slate. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is imbued. There you go. Oh. Okay, we got imbued slate. And... Okay, it processes. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> we got... Wow, we got an extra one. Nice. And it's only 20%, so that's good. We have an extra one. And we just need... Oh, we just need stone. Hey, that's, that ain't bad. Let's grab stone. We can actually use diorite. Hey, got bloodstone bricks. So we just need to craft 28 runes. Hmm. Okay, runes. I do have a calculator. Okay, let's get some runes. Okay, we need runes for this. Uh, save. So we need... So we need 20 runes. 140 stone. I think we do have that. Okay, and then we need 20 living rock. And we do have a lot of this. Hmm. Okay, 20 living rock. Okay, that's kind of easy because... Yeah, we just need... 20... Okay, 20 living rock. Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna craft everything. And hopefully... It, it will be fast because it's, you know... But I will craft everything, set up everything so that we are ready for tier 4. And we're gonna end the episode by then okay so i will be right back and we have the 28 blank runes now if we look at the quest we actually need eight capacity runes but what we're gonna do is uh let's grab these guys and then these guys actually okay we got those guys there you go we're just gonna replace them back so that it's not that confusing and then if we get our where is it oh gosh we're oh god exchanging exchanging gadget i can't see it why is why is exchanging it's oh here it is just saw it oops <laughs> all right let's grab a normal rune there you go now we're just gonna uh extend the range just a little bit then one 7, 14, 21, and we got 28. Okay, we need four more. We need to put these guys up there. It's actually, oops. Uh huh, there you go. One. Ooh, oh, oh no, my mouse kind of died. Oops, wait. All right, crisis averted. <laughs> oh, my mouse kind of ran out of battery. Okay, we got. Two more things. Let's put these two so that we are ready to set it up. Oh, bam! We got tier four, baby. Yes. Okay. Now it is. This is the time. This is. This is it. This is it. All right. You know what? We have. Okay. This this episode has been too long to make. So I guess this is the time that we end the episode now. Next episode, we're gonna work on power because honestly, we now have like an oh, wait, at at power, we now have access, we now have access to majority of this, especially this guy. This is a pretty powerful one the, the, the energy cable because everything is not changed except the dielectric base. Okay, we need to work out on the ebony substance actually. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that first, okay? Uh, Ebony. Let's quickly craft. I think we need a bullet. Yep, we need a spell bullet. We need iron. I think I removed the... Oh man, I removed the iron. Okay, let's grab the iron really quickly. And then we're gonna craft. We're gonna do the thing. If we need to go to the end, 
Well, that's gonna be a problem because we don't have access to the end yet. Because I haven't found an end portal. We have, we do have a lot of ender pearls. We can farm the end the uh, what do you call that the blaze the blaze rods. Okay, there you go. The ebony and ivory. Let's grab our uh, casting device. And I think yeah, there you go. No, I don't know how to. Let's go to uh, Sai Master Keybind. Okay, spell. Oh gosh. Category B S Synergistics. I guess we're gonna look for inventory. Sai Master Keybind. I'm just gonna put K. Okay. I think it's this guy. So let's grab some coal, which we do have here. This is just really quick desk. If if we actually need your cat stats are too weak to cast this spell. What? Oh, we need 250. We need, do I need to craft another? Oh my gosh, we need to craft another sword or another casting assisted device. Huh, so yeah, I guess we're gonna do this by the next episode. Yeah, we need we need like a better Where is it? I think it was this guy, Overflow? Right? Is it overflow? Well I need I mean I can use I can craft like the Psy Metal. Yeah, we can craft the Psy Metal CAD. Yeah, we need to craft this and then we're gonna craft the other stuff. Yeah, this is this is what we need this guy. The CAD thing and then the signaling thing. And then we need the CAD battery as well. So yeah. I'm gonna craft a new uh casting assistance device and then we're gonna work on the ebony psy metal we already have. Wait, I don't know which one is which. This is for ebony and ivory. And I I forgot the other one. I think it's the inf infusion. Yeah, there you go. The this is the infusion. Right? And then we're gonna grab this guy. Yeah, infusion and then ebony and ivory. And then there yeah, there you go. So I think this is enough. So yeah. We need uh we need a lot of yeah, we can do this, but like the other one, the ebony, the ebony, the ebony trick, we need 2,500, 250, what is this, potency? So potency, yeah, it is the cad it, itself. So we, mm-hmm, okay. So we do need the potency, yeah, to be, how do I craft ivory though? Ivory, and while still infusing... Jesus coal and quartz well in the end. Oh, so it looks like we need to the end. I'm gonna try this out uh the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching episode number 18. And uh, the next episode will be uh really soon. I think this week when this is uploaded. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Did I remove the good thing here? Hmm. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more press the like button down below we just hit 800 subscribers which is insane we are really close to 1000 and i don't know what to do on the 1000 uh subscribers so if you have any ideas put it in the comments down below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next episode we're gonna do more stuff by the next episode hopefully we can get mechanism up and running i i surely hope See you guys. Bye.